Hey guys, Anxious Cynic here, and this is something I've been thinking about doing for a while now. And this week we didn't get many submissions for the compilation, so I decided to use that to my advantage and try it out. From now on, I'm going to try and select some of the animations from the compilations to review and critique and maybe even rate as to which is my favorite. This past compilation, we only got four submissions, so I'll be reviewing all of them, but for larger compilations, it'll be a bit more selective. So let's get started. So the first animation up is by LOL LOL. I don't know, that's the user name. I'll go with it. So the first thing I have noted is the basic animation style is fine for this type of video. A lot of times people give that, you know, grief for the life animations and the monster schools and things like that, but I think there it's fine for these types of videos. Uh, however, one criticism I would have mainly for this particular submission, the sound effects for the character movement are too intense for the scene and the type of movement that the character is performing. I'd recommend using more subtle sound effects, maybe like cloth sound effects for when his hand touches the bed, things like that. It's kind of a quiet, intimate scene with the dog or whatever, so, you know, having the sound effects kind of match that is uh, gonna make your production quality go up a bit. For the next critique, we've got Night Shocker 03's animation. And the first thing I notice in this one is the shadows on the character's face look low quality or something. I'm guessing the cause of this might be the light buffer quality settings. If so, just make sure you increase those values before you render the animation. Some of the shots linger a bit too long. Uh, cutting is kind of an art form, so it's something you have to get a feel for, but generally just trimming some of the shots a few frames or up to a couple of seconds will tighten them up and make uh, the flow of the animation a lot better. The angry wolf showing up after the owner accidentally punches the dog was confusing to me. I wasn't sure if he meant to hit the dog at first or if the wolves had something to do with it. Even for short, simple narratives like this, things need to make sense. Otherwise, the viewer is trying to make sense of the story rather than actually enjoying it. The running at the end was a bit too slow, just, you know, as far as how it's animated. Again, with these types of animations, that can be okay, you know, having a simpler style, but if you want there to be an intensity to the scene, then the characters need to move with intensity. The next animation we got is by, I don't know how to say this name, Refilrino, Refilrino MC, something like that. So to start off, I actually like the lighting in this one. It's a short, simple animation, but the lighting and the basic movements work well for what was presented, in my opinion. When the cat spits out the food, it's a bit slow and lacks impact. It's fine if this is the style you were going for, but if you wanted it to be a bit more realistic or impactful, then speeding that up or even cutting some frames in the middle and having the projectile just kind of splat onto the character's face would improve this. Something I noticed here, it wasn't quite as bad as I've seen in others, but the dialogue text is a bit too close to the edge of the screen. I've often seen this happen where the subtitles are going off frame and you can't even read everything the characters are saying. So it's best to keep things like that within a certain margin within the frame to make sure they never go outside or are cut off by the edge of someone's device, you know, if it doesn't show the full frame of the image and things like that. And finally, last but not least, we have Cypher Quartz animation. So the first thing I noticed with this one was the opening shot seems to use an elastic transition for camera movement. I really recommend not doing this except for very specific cases, often for comedic effect. It just doesn't look that good from a cinematography perspective. You generally want your camera movements to be very deliberate and intentional. The door explosion was a bit confusing to me. I think it was meant to suggest that the dog was so excited it exploded out of the room to greet its owner. If that was the intention, then just having the dog flying out the door just as the explosion happens would clear that up. Overall, I would say that this probably was my favorite submission. I like the story you told and the basic animation style added to the overall tone. And in my opinion, like a lot of people criticize the basic animation styles and everything typically done with Minimator, but to me, it added to the tone and, and made it, uh, it gives it the kind of feel that the story is portraying. So that's it for this week's submission reviews. Hope you guys liked it. Be sure to leave comments with what you liked and what you didn't like and changes you'd like to see in the future. But I thought this was a way to give the compilation more uh, meaning, give it something back to you guys for submitting your animations and helping provide content for my channels and things like that. Uh, since the tutorials have kind of slowed down due to the fact that I feel like I've covered most of the basic information that you would really need to know with Minimator, I feel like we need some new stuff that can help you guys and uh, I just thought maybe some critiques would be helpful. Speaking of which, some people have been confused about the compilation. So just as a reminder, it has been moved to the Boxspring Animations channel. If you want to submit for it, then head on over to the Boxspring Animations channel, find out what the next theme is, and get to work. So that's it guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.